Alright, yeah, and welcome to the first round of the tournament. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so, if you check the description for all those who have signed up, there will be um, a matchup list for you for the week. So, you've got the entire week in order to um, have your matchup. So, that is from this video coming out till Sunday midnight at GMT. Um, in order to play your matchups and send me the results. Remember, I need both of you to send me the results so that I can figure out if you're lying to me or not. Um, yeah, so you've got plenty of time to do that. If you haven't sent your Steam ID or something like that, then it won't be listed in the description. So it's up to you guys to use my comment section as a forum to get in touch with your opponent. Um, add them on Steam and play the game. I can't babysit every match, so if you... Ooh, lovely. If you don't um, make any attempt to join up with your opponent, then obviously I'm gonna have to give you zero points for not lo uh, not winning, not losing, just not taking part. So I think it's gonna be three points for a win, one point for a loss, zero points for not taking part. So even if you think you're gonna lose, it's in your best interest to play that match because you'll still get a point out of it. Anyway, um, yes, most of the stuff's going to be in the description, so check that out. And for those who aren't taking part in the tournament, we have ourselves a game. Let's go with... Hmm, let's go with an Outland Colossus. Let's get it out there, start doing some damage. Probably hits a counter spell. No, it does not. So this is a Jeskai mill deck, maybe? I don't really know. There's a lot of jeweled manlands. Maybe it's element tri Elemental Tribal, I don't know. He's hit a lot of tap lands though, and with the three mana he has, he hasn't countered our spell. Which is interesting. He's not doing a great deal either. So, yeah, I think for each of these rounds as well, I'm just going to take this as an opportunity to play an old deck. So, we've got our mono green Stompy deck here. I'll, uh leave a link to the original videos if you haven't seen it in the description for you to check out those videos our opponent is doing sweet bugger all he's also by the way rank 34 called tyler the destroyer let's see if he can destroy my outland colossus seems he is incapable but yes good luck on the uh, tournament everybody it's uh remember it's only fun so if you lose really badly try not to get too salty no it's for fun, so don't ruin anyone's fun, and you should have fun. And he's passing the turn, alright, he had five mana up, he had stuff to do, but he wasn't doing it, which is interesting. Well, I'm going to attack with my 6-6 six, six and make it a 12-12, what do you say about that, sir? Absolutely bugger all. Absolutely bugger all, okay. Well, we're doing alright then. I'm just going to explosive vegetation and ramp up a little bit more. Then we can Nissus Renewal and Sylvan Advocate and close this game out in no time. I thought this was going to be a slow matchup and I was going to be like, oh, I'm done talking about everything. But no, it seems as though this 12 12 is going to be cracking in his face for nigh on lethal. Ooh, Nahiri. That'll do it. That'll do it. I see what you were doing there. That's fine. That's fine. Well, we've got a Sylvan Advocate, which is going to be a 4-5 with Vigilance, so Nahiri can't touch it. Let's go Sylvan Advocate. And Duskwatch Recruiter. And we can activate Duskwatch Recruiter on, our end, on their end step. And kill Nahiri next turn, unless he wants to go man land on our ass. We shall see. Plays a creature, he gets rabid bited. And we still kill his Nahiri. So he's plussing. Is he going to discard for another draw? He is dropping a land. Okay. Radiant Flames hits our recruiter. Well, I'm just going to go look for a big creature. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty big creature. Let's go with an Ulamog, shall we? We're not quite there on mana, but we're easily going to get there. And he's 
pretty much dropped his guard mana wise. Come on, tap your mana. Do what you were supposed to be doing. Oh no, you're supposed to be looking at Ulamog. I think he's wondering whether or not I should concede. Does he have another burn spell for the Sylvan Advocate? He's got something. Otherwise, his priority thing would be skipping right through right now. Also, he'd not be taking his time. There we go. Galvanic Bombardment takes out the Advocate. We can pulse it back and gain six life as well if we want. And maybe we do want. Oh, we could just Guy's Revenge. It can't be counted and we kill Nahiri. That'll do. Can't activate his Fumarole, so bye bye Nahiri. I am. Alright, let's see what else he's got. Can't be the target of non-green sources as well, so he's going to have to find a creature that can kill it. Or oh, double block with fumaroles if he'd ever have the mana, and I don't think he will. Not in this time. Planar Outburst, that'll do it. Okay. So we're probably just going to pulse and grab some at back. Or maybe we just want to do a little bit of ramping right now. Do three, we've got four mana left up and we can't really do all with that. So that's Nissa's Renewal. Thin out a deck, gain seven life. Boosh. Up to 27. Your opponent is yet to hit us. Doesn't mean he's going to lose, but hmm. I don't really know what his deck is. I guess a super friends kind of deck. Oh, it's a tutelage deck, yeah. Chess guy tutelage, he's got two of them. Do we have 10 mana up? I don't know, I think so. If we do, then there goes his tutelages. We do have 10 mana up. That's nice, bye bye tutelage. I think either he forgot, yeah, either he forgot about his uh, Ulamog, or... He was just doing that as a last hope. So we pretty much got rid of his win condition now. So we have one. Wunderbar. And we're going to mill him instead. And here we go. And a guy's revenge. That'll just add to the misery. Swing in for 18. He can block one with a man land. But he's dead in two turns time anyway, regardless of combat damage. Going to block the Ulamog. Alright. And then we'll expose his vegetation, because why not? Might as well. We ain't countering anything. Considered playing this for the tournament, actually. But I decided because I actually went through this deck to see if there was any um, Eldritch Moon cards that might be quite good. And they weren't a great deal really. I think this is a fairly well rounded deck without the Eldritch Moon cards in it. It still holds up though, I still play this in my off time. It still does work. Oof. Right, well, we finish on a high life total than we started with. And we win. Alright guys, be sure to check out the description for all the matchups. Be sure to do your matchups within the week. And if you have any problems, send it in the comment section below. Use the comment section as a forum to connect with your opponent for the week. And good luck and have fun. Bye bye.